Good morning, everybody. It is currently 7 right now. Not 7 p.m. It's 7 a mother effing a.m. Because I have really part time management. I'm leaving for Canada in a couple days, and this was the only time I had to film. Aww. So here I am, 6 a.m. 7. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to catfish. I get asked all the time from you guys like how I do my makeup, what lashes I use. This is kind of the makeup that I wear all the time whenever I'm on YouTube, taking Instagram pics. I was the ugly duckling in school, I was the chubby girl, and then once I was 18, started losing weight and started learning how to do makeup, I was like, no. I'm gonna learn how to make myself look and feel cute. So if you guys are going on a first date, you wanna impress, you wanna look nothing like your passport photo, if you wanna create a YouTube channel and pretend to look completely different than how you do all the time, then this is the makeup for you. By the way, I'm really sorry if the lighting is sh Like, I can't even see right now because as I just said, it's seven in the morning and like my eyes haven't even adjusted to being awake. So I don't know if this is too much, I'm sorry. And that smell is very vanilla by Victoria's Secret. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am gonna start with a primer. I've only used like once before. Just listen to the translation of this. Smoothing, poor hiding, tone up. What does that even mean? Tone up. Okay. So I don't usually use primers. But moisturizers are really good because it gets your skin like all prepared, especially if you have dry skin like me. Oh, I think this has like a little tint to it. It's gotten rid of like some of the redness. Cute. Whoa. It's actually done something. And I just was talking about how I used it before and I'm like, oh my god, look what it does! So I'm gonna be going in with my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Duville. So this was my summer shade. So it might be a little dark for me, which... Imagine if this is too dark for you. I have actually been using, if anyone doesn't really like full coverage foundations, I've been using the Misha BB Cream. The only reason why I'm not using this today is because it's like an actual foundation. It's gonna last me all day. I mean, bitch, it's 7 a.m. in the morning right now. I want this to last me until 8 p.m. tonight. But normally I've actually been using this and I really, really like it. I always get my ears as well because they're always really red. Number one of catfishing is you gotta make people believe that like this is your skin. This isn't foundation, it's not makeup. Oh, my earring fell out. Because your ears really give you away. And also your neck. So for my brows, I actually like to use the Jaclyn Hill palette because I still do not have an eyebrow pomade, which I will get when I go to Sephora, Anastasia Beverly Hills, but for now, I just have this. I love to use this shade right here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So then, I also use, does this a Tude House drawing pencil? I'm not gonna pluck my eyebrows. She is not looking cute, look at this one. Look at all that hair at the bottom. The number one rule of catfishing is always put in that effort. If you notice something is out of line or out of place, girl, you better be prepared to fix it because the catfish isn't gonna work. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ow! I think I just ruined my eyebrow. Oh, by the way, this always looks kind of weird here because I had a chicken pox a long time ago and it made like a hole there. So then the next step is eyes. I'm using mostly the Jaclyn mostly the Jaclyn Hill palette, but because there's no cool tone brown transition shades, I'm gonna be using this one from MAC, which is called Wedge. So I'm gonna use that as a transition for my eyes. I'm gonna be using this beautiful shade whoop, right here. I love this color, it's so pretty. My camera's green right now, I don't know why. Whoa. Whoa! Use the same shade as I did for my brows. And then I'm just gonna go back over with the transition brown color and just like smooth everything out. 
don't worry it looks like a mess right now eyeshadow always does or at least mine does until i actually put on my eyeliner and stuff so i'm now gonna be going with this black pencil from mac called engraved i don't really recommend it because it kind of sucks but it's the only one that i have like that just gonna take my eyelash curler oh i'm gonna be using my eyeliner which is the brush black by mac no so after that i'm going to put on some mascara which is this one by l'oreal telescopic and i don't know why i'm talking like that so the next step is lashes now i personally believe if you go through the trouble of doing your eyeliner of doing your eyeshadow you got to put on some fake lashes because it just makes the whole look complete you know so i'm going to be using these ones and I actually don't know what they're called, but I got them from Yes Style and they're so good. So I always <laughs> put it on here, which is gross. I don't have anything to else to put it on. Sorry. <laughs> come on, like, come on. How freaking, like, okay, girl, this is how you catfish. Look at the difference between that and that. That and that that and that okay now that and that okay now that and i'll stop <laughs> take my other one get it utter like cow utter damn i think the coffee just kicked in that's for sure <laughs> uh, uh, ew look at that glue ew that old glue for everyone asking me how do you put your lashes on like that how do you do it so quick Girl, it's because I like to catfish every mother effing day and I've had to practice every motherfucking day to get to this skill. Like, look at how freaking... Ugh, I love these lashes so much. I don't even know what they're called, so I gotta order some more because they are just so damn beautiful. A little tip I like to do is I like to go over with my eyeliner because you can see kind of here some of the... The glue so i just like to you know, go over that make it look like i ain't catfishing no these are my natural lashes okay jeez okay so i'm looking a little bit better than i was an hour ago and yes it does take me a while to do my makeup thank you very much thank you very much we're not finished with the eyes yet we're gonna come back to it later but um we're gonna do the face now i have this which i absolutely love to use it is the lasting perfection collection concealer i actually like to pack on this with a combination of if i can find it with this so i'm gonna use this one first And then I'm gonna go over with the Magic Eraser, is it? No, Instant Anti-Age Eraser by Maybelline. You know, I don't really like this one, so I don't recommend it. I think it's actually pretty shit. But it just is a little, whoa, whoa! Karma for saying that, look at it. What? No, what the fuck? It had black shit on it. But yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of this one. Everyone always raves about it. Even I used to use it, but I think they changed their formula. Because it used to be really good and now it's just kind of not that good. Okay, so then after that, using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is almost out. So I gotta kind of dab it out one sec. Okay, there's not a lot left. This is kind of all I'm working with right now. So we're not gonna bake today. We're just gonna put it under. I'm now going to contour a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my favorite shade, which is Wedge by MAC. Did I just get that pimple? Because I do not remember that being there when I woke up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this brush and also put it down my nose. Just gonna go over it with my translucent powder, like that. Then I'm going to be taking Hoola Bronzer, which has been my favorite bronzer since I started learning how to do makeup when I was 18. I freaking love this bronzer, man. I'm just going to lightly not go too crazy because I can get kind of carried away. Little bit. Stop. <laughs> Little bit. Little bit. Boom. Just to give my face some color. And I like to go over that as well, just with like my foundation brush. 
because it has leftover foundation on it so i just like to blend everything in cool cool then next step is blush if you are very pale skin like me i recommend dame or dam by MAC Cosmetics. It's this very beautiful, lilac-y, subtle blush, and I freaking love it. It is so beautiful. But it's not too crazy, because we don't want to be too crazy today. You know, we just don't want to be too crazy. See, look, look how subtle that is. But it's there, you notice it. My little secret, now don't tell anyone this, I like to put it here. Super cute, not in your face. But the highlight though, that is a whole nother thing. So we're gonna finish the eyes now because the face is pretty much done. I'm gonna go back in with wedge. We're gonna swipe that under our eyes. Like that. And then on the outer corner, I'm actually just gonna go in that darker shade we used from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Wait, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Jaclyn Hill. Just a little bit though, not a lot. We don't wanna go too crazy. It's just a little bit and I'm gonna put it right here boom done don't touch it anymore leave it <laughs> the less is more okay so now we're gonna do the highlight that is the most important step you guys ask me all the time which highlight i use i love this highlight so much it is so beautiful we're gonna put it here put it here And this is optional, but I like to put it here as well. Now, we could go a little more crazy, but I don't want to scare y'all at 7 in the morning. I'm just going to coat my lower lashes super quick. So for my lips, I'm going to be using Whirl. Look at this freaking liner, dude. I literally am taking every single inch. I'm literally using it until it's done. <laughs> I think I need to get a new one because it's really hard. I can't even sharpen it anymore. And then I'm gonna use my favorite lip gloss ever, which is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. Cute. It'll be so cute if I put some highlighter here. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. I don't know why I'm whispering. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, that looks really ugly actually, I should have done that. Okay, so we're pretty much finished with our transformation. If you thought we stopped here, girl, you need to step up your catfishing game because bitch, we go one step further and we're wearing a wig. This is like for extreme catfishing. If you really want to change up your whole look, I recommend to get wigs. And you don't need to get expensive wigs either. If you haven't seen my buying Amazon wigs video, check it out down below because this wig that I'm about to show you cost me 16 pounds. Hold up. Hold up. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna catfish everyone today, bitch. Okay, so that was the end of the video. This was before and this was after. As you can see, I catfished y'all. And I catfish you guys on a daily basis and I catfish everyone in my life on a daily basis. 